Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Whew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. Hmm. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes, eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I... I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sorry you liked it. And Capgooey did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect... To it to change anytime soon unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mmm. And Kegu liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kevgu appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Kevgu started showing up. What, what what When did that happen? And Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Okay, wow, whoo, boy. Uh, I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Have gooey. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Kevgui. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey a complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Kevgui? Um. Well. Uh. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably just think more highly of me. Uh. Uh. Help me, Sayori! Uh. No, no, not Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. Uh. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. Yeah? Uh. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Kevgui. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for the others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. You would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. 
Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Ah! Ooh, that was going to go really far, Natsuki. That's whoo. Natsuki, Yuri. Stop this at once. You guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Oh no, she's crying. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. And everyone's so talented. And why are we fighting? It because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Ooh! Alright. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Oh, make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Asuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. Nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ha ha ha. Nah, not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. I'm gonna smile sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. If only. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Yagu, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. If any luck that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Yagui, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee hee hee. Sorry beams at me. It truly has been a while since Saryu and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, that what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Oh, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Kagui. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... Hee hee hee. Every day is going to be so much fun. Ah. Uh, looks like Sari still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to see to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Ah. Let's see. I saw... Okay, another poem. Vitality. Ah. Uh, bed. Hmm. I saw. Let's see. I think I saw. Passion or marriage? Good passion. Marriage. Not eh, passion. Peace.
Romance. Hope. Dazzo. Diggo. Uncontrollable. Dance. Sweet. Boop. A tone. No, I don't know why I saw that first. Memories. Lost. Clumsy. Nightgown. Family. After image. And. Whirlwind? Excitement. Papa. What? Oh well. Yeah, let's go with this one. Another day passing this time for the club meeting already. Ooh, yeah. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. What? It's just the next day. Enter the club when the usual scene greets me. Hi, Gabgooey. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hee hee hee. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? And that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry, nervous, she retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Ah ha ha ha. I knew it. I didn't see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Wah! <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this a lot. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Face is in her book as always. Ah, uh -uh. I wasn't listening to her or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, how can we let me borrow some money? That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Hmm. Uh, did I just... Uh, I didn't mean that. I got to observe the ones in my book. Ooh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept my... The resolution. Retribution. That... Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hee hee hee. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Woo! They're fighting for me! Hooray! I hope my poem is actually good. Hopefully, in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!